Yo, what's going on guys? Benny Brooks here and welcome back for another video. Now in today's video, we actually got some huge Lego news that just dropped. Or it actually dropped kind of this morning. Sorry for the late video. I was actually at school, so. <laughs> but this is the Lego Super Mario 64 question block set. The set number is 71395 and it comes with 2064 pieces. That piece number might be a nod to S Super Mario 64, by the way. The set is 18 plus, which just goes to show how spectacular this set really is. And if I'm honest, this is definitely one of my favorite Mario sets of all time. But here's why. A lot of the hype is distraught for this set because it does not include any Super Mario minifigures. And to all those people who think that, I'd just like to say, a set does not have to have minifigures for it to be good. The set build for this is so awesome. I love this because even if you're not a fan of Lego and you're a fan of Mario, this can be just displayed anywhere in your house and it looks awesome. You can even display Legos on top of it if you don't want to fold it out, you know? I know this will look awesome on display with me. This has a lot of different references to Super Mario 64 as well. And also on the box, there is Super Mario 64 on the logo, which is so awesome because this is actually like a branch out from just instead of Lego Super Mario, now they're doing confirmed Lego Super Mario 64, which is like huge. So that means we could get some Super Mario Galaxy stuff and some other stuff like that. This set, this set has a reference to three different levels. The Peach's Castle level is definitely one of my favorites. I love how it looks. It's very iconic as well. There's a bunch of different buildable figures like the King bob -omb. There's a Chain Chomp. There's some penguins, there's a buildable Mario, Yoshi, and also Princess Peach. There's a buildable Lakitu. Sorry if I'm missing any. I'm just kind of going through. Um, I know the build on the top actually pops out, so you can actually just fold this thing up and have it be a regular question block just sitting anywhere. Or you could have it have this awesome display. And I also love all the references to Super Mario 64. I think the technical build for this, I think everything kind of folded on top of each other and hidden inside the question block is a really genius move, uh, especially for like what we've seen in the past with Lego Super Mario sets, how they're really simplistic builds and stuff. And then going to something like this where it's like extravagant, you know, I, I really like the build for this. Now, these are all my first thoughts because I was, like I said, I was at school, so I didn't really watch any other YouTuber videos. But one thing I did want to point out is that this could also be a tease for future LEGO Super Mario sets. We got four different levels. We got one Peach's Castle, one Bomber Battlefield, one Lava Level, and then the Ice World one with all the penguins. And seeing all those levels combined in this awesome, spectacular way, I cannot wait to see if LEGO translates these into separate sets and what those will look like. But anyways, what do you guys think about this? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And with all that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.